Today is the 3rd of June 2017 and it's pretty much a normal day except a year ago Daisy finally came home from hospital after spending six weeks and one day in special care. So really it's not just a normal day at all. Happy coming home anniversary day. We love you so much. Oh, are you taking baby for a walk? Oh, good girl. Bye. Have fun. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I'm about to start doing this. I'll see you on the other side. I've got to apologise for the state of me, but I'm actually really, really, really proud of myself. I did the 30 day shred back when... Gosh, I wasn't even with Mark then, so I think Bill was probably around I want to say maybe 15 months old and I did it and I don't know let me know in the comments below if you remember when I did it because quite a few other like bloggers or people that followed me at the time did it with me and it was really really cool um but I have to say the fact that I've lost weight despite the state of me not right now and I'm like oh my god I can't breathe um it is a lot easier now I am so much lighter because I remember doing that the first time and I couldn't even get all the way through it like I would have to stop sometimes but this time around I managed to do all of it and I'm just so proud of myself I'm absolutely buzzing it's such a great feeling so yay me <sighs> Julian Michaels you are a right cow <laughs> But hopefully you will make me down up and lose a little bit more weight so then in which case you're my hero. Oh, I need a shower and a drink. So I'm ready now and I'm feeling so good. I don't know if that's a bit weird but I haven't done exercise in such a long time and my body's like... Well okay, my body's actually quite sore which me and Matt were laughing about just before because it's already starting to kick in and it's like an hour later which is ridiculous. <laughs> but I feel really energised and kick ass and all of that so we're just waiting for Daisy to wake up now because Bill's come home from his dad's and um, he was dropped off at 11 just when I was getting ready so I didn't bother filming all of that because you know when he first comes home like he needs a fuss not a camera in his face um so yeah we're just waiting for Daisy to wake up so we can go out and get some stuff done today because like she needs some shoes cruises because she's she is cruising and she's trying to walk and I feel like, especially because of stickler syndrome, we have muscle weakness and like an issue with our collagen. Um, I feel like they might give her a little bit of extra support and just give her that extra push. Plus, it's good for her to start getting used to wearing shoes anyway. So that's what we're going to do today and just get a few little chores done. Because I feel like getting out of the house and, you know, doing something. So, just need to wait on that little flower to wake up now. <laughs> Stockport and Mark said on the way here like oh you, do you want to find somewhere for us to go to lunch and I was like oh you know somewhere cheap or you know, we can just grab something when we get there and he said hi yeah <laughs> and um, then he was like oh isn't there a Nando's in Stockport so we're going to Nando's and I'm really really excited because I've not been for ages you ready to go and eat some chicken day she's never had Nando's before actually so this should be interesting Bill's just told me that he doesn't want the chicken to be too spicy, so I don't know how this is going to work. So we're at Nando's, but we've had a bit of a nightmare because A, we had to wait 20 minutes before we could get a table, and then B, Daisy's done like her first snappy explosion since she was like a newborn, and I haven't got to change clothes, so I don't know what we're going to have to do. 
up, up, up in a painted cup I will pour my love from a cloud above So bright I can see the lights Taking you up and above the blue sky Tastes good to be drinking all of the honey sweet brew of ours Up, up in a painted cup Right in the sky like a firefly Like a firefly I believe to believe is to feel the fire grow within I believe to believe is to see how the prayers So we've had to come to Nax because we've got no clothes for Daisy um, So we're trying to pick up something cheap Both as high And um, <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna find us something that we can throw her in. So sweet like a honeybee, can buzz around a honey tree. Up, up in a painted cup, right in the sky like a firefly. So, new outfit bought. And now, we're gonna go and get some shoes. For Daisy. Yeah, she's having a good day, isn't she, really? So, I've come to Primark because I need some bras and ever since I've lost weight I've just been wearing my old ones but they're gaping and they're way, way too big. So I've come to get a couple and I should get measured but I just haven't got time to do it today so I just thought I would guess. So I've gone for a 34D and we'll just have to see if they fit later. in the car and then was fine when we got home and then he got out of the car and walked to the door and then when we looked up he was in tears because he didn't get to have a proper nap in the car so he's lying under his Perry the platypus special agent P blanket um and just having a rest and Daisy is I don't actually know what She's Daisy is doing is she <laughs> Daisy Daisy's just escaped and tried to run upstairs so that's her new thing at the moment yeah with bill he he kind of learnt what the stairs were and then just wasn't interested whereas daisy is 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 not is not bill <laughs> daisy is our adventurer and explorer and bill is our kind-hearted sensitive one and they're polar opposites but that's probably why they get on so well um, but yeah, she's constantly trying to go up and down the stairs at the moment, so that's fun. But we're hoping the novelty will wear off soon. I have just quickly come upstairs to try my bras on and get changed into some comfy clothes, I think, because I just feel a bit meh. I don't know if it's doing that workout, but that's really bad if it's affected me that badly already. Um, but yeah, we got Daisy's first shoes today and it was so, so so cute um we went for the little mia ones and we had to go for hot pink leather which wasn't exactly what i would have chosen i don't think but the thing is with daisy and with me we both got really really narrow feet and i don't know if that's related to sticklers or not the the syndrome that we have um but when you've got really narrow feet it does limit the sorts of shoes that are available sometimes and she is four and a half e so she has quite big feet for a 13 month old and mark also had quite narrow feet as a child as well so i think she was a bit screwed in that sense um but they were literally pink pink or pink um the options that we had um and there were only two cruiser type ones and then one was a proper shoe and we didn't want to get her a proper shoe yet because she's not 
yet walking and the reason why we wanted to get them some cruiser shoes now is because with stickler syndrome there's an issue with sometimes muscle development and collagen and the muscles and things like that and she does have slightly weak joints like I do and we noticed that her ankles are turning inwards slightly when she tries to walk so we're hoping these will give her a little bit of extra strength because she is really trying now and really going for it so that would be really nice and I went back to the store where Bill got his first shoes from he got cruises from there as well so it was like a nice rite of passage and the Clarks in Stockport is quite small so there's probably less choice there but I just felt like that was the place that she was supposed to go to because it's like tradition isn't it and the lady that served us i think her name was jessica she was so so lovely so nice so helpful like really really nice to daisy and to bill which i love um because you fuss one child the other one always gets left out don't they and she was lovely she was really nice but it was such a lovely experience and i can't believe like she's got her first shoes and you know, it's like a year since she came home from hospital, so it felt like a nice thing to do today. And I'm super, super proud of her. My little baba's growing up. So, I'm all changed and comfy. I'm feeling a bit rough. I really am. Um, I'm just putting some stuff away, and I thought I would show you a little home bargain tour. So not that there's much. So, I've got these Annabelle Caramel Mini Biscotti. Apple and cinnamon flavour for Daisy. And then I've also got these fruity bakes as well i'm assuming that bill will like those as well if he fancies them he can have them i've got some lancashire farm fat free natural yogurt because i'm doing tandoori chicken for tea um some sif power and shine multi-purpose wipe some of this astonished non-bio wash because well it was the only one that they had that was astonished so i'm hoping that will be all right it was quite cheap um i got some milk I have no idea that they did food and stuff. I don't think I've ever been in one before. Um, some Pampers Sensitive Wipes, five of those. And then Bill got some Super Clay. And I think they're still in the car. They must have fallen out the boot. But we got some, like, rip-off versions of Lucky Charm. So if you are in the market for some of them, then head on over to Home Bargains. Right, ready? Yep. And you made a little more. Okay, so we need a body. Yeah. This is not how I expect it to be. Oh, look at this! He needs some eyes, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. What are you going to call him? Um, or her? Minx. Minx. Minx the pig? Yeah. Do you want to put it in the middle of the white? Oh, I can't do it. Bit too. You can do it, don't worry. Oh, wow! Can you do another one like that for me? What do you think we should make her after? After we've done the, yeah, the, the pig, the pig. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think he's done? Yeah. Yeah? But we need some hooves, like some little toes. Because... The thing is though, have you ever seen pig with yellow toes? What do cow ears look like? They like... Uh, they don't look like that, do they? No. It's like a dog. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, it's meant to be. I don't think my cow is going to be as good as my pig, mate. Yeah. I don't think I will be able to make a good cow either. Brilliant at making stuff. Cows normally have white horns. I know, but I'm just trying to be creative. What does creative mean? Like, you know, think outside the box. Oh. I think it's great, Mama. Do you? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you like it. Because you're the best. You're the best one who can make a cow. Oh, thank you, babe. <laughs> Look at it. It looks like a duck beak. A monster. Let's see if they can... There we go. Oh, yes. Put them together. Ooh. Here you go. What, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just hanging out on the kitchen table. What about you? Well, I'm hanging on the kitchen table. I'm just, just about to go to the farm. Oh, what's your name? Uh, William. Oh. William the cow? Yes. My name's Kevin Bacon, by the way. My, My jokes are always lost on children.
to me tonight Leave behind my safe escape Collide my walls And 